going to be taking the Lorac 1 and 2 palettes. First, I'm going to be taking the Lorac 1 palette. This is the shade White. It is just a pure matte white. I'm going to put that all over the lid, inner corner, all the way up to the brow bone. And I would suggest putting a piece of tape so that way we have that more defined uh, shape instead of it just all the way around. So put a piece of tape on there before you do anything. And then I'm going to be taking the Lorac 2 palette and taking that navy color. This is going to be the base of our color, as in this is what the eye is focusing on. So we're going to be taking a very tiny flat shader pencil brush, and then we're going to be putting this all the way through the crease. That way we'll have like that cut crease look. So start on the outer end where that tape is, and then follow your crease all the way to the inner corner. And make sure that you try to get it as sharp as you can. And then we're just going to go ahead and, you know, basically do it and make it a little bit thicker too, like a little bit darker. Because as here, we are going to be blending it upward. Personally, I like the way that this one looks right here without making it any darker. I like this first um, blend versus the whole eye, personally for my own look. But this is a more of an intense look. So, of course, we're going to build up that color. But if you want to do a more wearable version of this, I would go after the first one. And then just stop with that. But then we're going to go in with that matte black color that's in there. Just to really define that cut crease a little bit more. And then just go over it very slightly. Not making it as thick as we did the blue. Because where we were blending that. We just want to make this black the more cut crease definer. So just barely go over that line. And then go in more with that navy color. Because again where we're going to intensify it. We want more of that blue color. So just go again over top of that black, like above it. Make a thicker blue line. And because we are going to blend that out to make it darker. We're taking the silver shade from the Pro 2 palette. You can use any silver shade that you want. That way if you want it a little bit darker, a little bit lighter whatever kind of silver that you want but this is just going to be the base for our glitter so we're just gonna what I did was sprayed my setting spray on the brush and then dipped it in there just so it's a little bit more intense so just go all the way on the entire lid up to the crease but make sure not to go over that crease line so we're just going to fill in the rest of our lid that isn't with the blue in that silver color just so it gives that glitter a little bit more of an intense look and that has so you can see that silver glitter a little bit more. And then we're going to be taking this hard candy glitter in flashy. I don't know if they still have these anymore, but it's just like a single eyeshadow glitter. Personally, I would rather just use a glitter glue and some loose glitter, which is what I wish I would have done. I was going to go ahead and get that and then refilm this whole thing. But I had some requests that wanted this video up because I put this picture up and wanted to see this and I'm going um away for this weekend and I needed the this video up Monday so I wanted to go ahead and just put it up the only reason I didn't like it is because of this glitter is a little bit more of that sticky glitter so after a while it does go into the crease and it just doesn't work well so I would definitely just get a loose glitter pigment and put it on with glitter glue you can use the NYX uh, face and body glitter singles and then also use the um, either Too Faced or NYX glitter glue. But then we're going to go in with that navy color and put this on the bottom line underneath our tight line just where this is a smokier look. Um, I don't want that black because it's going to be too harsh. We're just going to go in with that same pencil brush and put that blue underneath there and then we're going to be taking that black color and this is where we're going to basically have the base for our eyeliner because it takes a little bit more for eyeliner when you have glitter on so just go ahead and like very slightly put on the eyeshadow for the black and then go ahead and make your winged liner you can put it as thin or as thick as you want wouldn't put it too thin because where this is a smoky look but not too too thick where it takes away from the glitter so just put a regular wing and that tape does help create that wing if you are trying to learn a little bit with the wings and then just put a coat or two of mascara on because we're putting lashes on and then we're going to be taking the like any eyeliner that you want and then put this on our tight line and we're going to be taking the Ardell Double Wispies these are new-ish 
to the line and just gives it a little bit more of a glamour look with these but not being over dramatic and then I've already put my foundation on I have a foundation routine I'll leave it linked down below and um, but I'm just going to go in with my concealer and you know highlight everywhere that needs to be highlighted and I've been liking putting my concealer on with this little beauty sponge I like it just a little bit better I think it blends a little bit well so if you haven't tried a sponge I definitely try one this is the Ulta sponge it's like two little ones but they do get bigger once you put the water so if you want a cheaper version to the beauty blender just go to Ulta and you can get two little sponges in a pack they're very very inexpensive for the past ever how many months I haven't been using a powder I've just been putting my makeup on and using a setting spray but lately I've been doing the powder and the setting spray both so I'm going back with my holy grail powder this is the Rimmel stay matte powder because we really want that matte look because we're going to go for an intense um like bronzing look underneath like around the face I mean because where this is an intense look so we want to go completely matte all over the face it's going to be better for when we do our bronzer and our highlighter so of course I'm going to be taking my Lorac Pro palette contour palette um absolutely love this palette of use in every video but we're going to be taking that deep color if you are very fair um I do look fair on the camera I'm really not I'm more of like a like lightish not medium but I'm like a more lightish toned um so if you use it very lightly you can get away with this deep color but if you're very fair um I would not use this deep color but I'm just going to create a very kind of harsh line for my contour but then I'm going to go in with that light color and then contour my nose I'm going to be using all three of the shades in here but I just like to use the lighter color for my nose because I don't really like to completely contour my nose just to give a little bit more of a look and then we're going in with that medium color this is the one that I always use for bronzing so then we're going to go over that contour and just bronze up the entire face all over just make sure that this isn't, we're not going too light, but we're not going like heavy duty bronzing. So basically just a good medium look to this. If you want to go a little bit more intense, it's not going to hurt it. It's going to, you know, look good because where this is a more smoky eye. So whatever you're feeling comfortable with bronzing wise, but I like to do a little bit more of a heavy contour, but not too, too much. So a good medium. This has been my favorite highlighter recently. This is the Lorac Illuminating Highlighter in Daylight. So I'm just going to be taking this all over my cheekbones and up to my temples. We really want to get like a little bit more of an intense highlight with this. Not too much, but a more intense, more than just a natural. Then we're going to be doing this thing called baking. I recently haven't been like into baking like at all until like the past, you know, week or so. Because I never really followed up on what it was but we're just gonna go right underneath our contour Um, basically you're just gonna take a white powder and take it underneath your contour and um, so it like really pops it and makes it you know just pop but then after you put that on you're gonna go in with your contour and sharpen it up so this is when I use that light color instead of that deep because I don't want it too too dark and then you want to wait about 30 seconds or so and then wipe it away and you still have that kind of like a white cast um, but it still brightens it and creates that more sharp look. This weird face, it's time for my brows and then it's time for lipstick after that. This is the Rimmel Kate, I think it's Kate Moss collection. Um, I think this is the number 14. I'll have it all linked down below. I just wanted to go with a more brown nude look. Not, not nude nude, but more of a brown nude with this look. So I hope that you all enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below for future videos that you want to see. And subscribe so you can see my future videos and all my other makeup looks to come. So I hope you all enjoyed and I will see my next one. Bye everyone.